Developed in the late 1980s by legendary German climber Wolfgang Gulick, campus training is the gold standard for developing awesome upper body power and contact grip strength. The Campus Board is a unique training platform that allows for various reactive training and quasi-plyometric exercises that train recruitment and rate of force development in the finger and arm flexors. This type of dynamic training is a real boon for high-end sport climbers and boulderers. While feet off campusing is the most common method of training among elite climbers, feet on campusing, that is with the toes resting on small holds or wooden strips, is the preferred method for intermediate climbers wanting to dabble on the campus board. The ideal campus board will have at least three different size of rungs and also some footholds or foot strips on which to place your feet. Unfortunately, the campus board is often misused, both by individuals not strong enough to use it properly, but also elites who simply do too much campus training. As a guideline, if you've been climbing less than two years, you're not ready for the campus board. Your tendons are just not likely strong enough. The focus of this video is on campus training to improve contact grip strength. In the next episode, we'll take a look at several exercises for developing arm power. This trait directly relates to the speed at which you can recruit the forearm muscles motor units and summon peak grip strength, a capacity called rate of force development. While the maximum strength fingerboard exercises detailed in the previous episode will yield some improvement in contact strength, reactive training exercises, that is campus training, that emphasizes rate of force development and shock loading is the optimal method for increasing contact strength and arm power. Consequently, the three exercises in this video will involve quick movements between smaller challenging holds, whereas in the next episode, those exercises will involve bigger moves between larger, generally easier to grab holds. One arm lunging with your feet fixed on a wood strip or resting on the floor is the easiest and least stressful form of campus training. Consider this the entry level campus training exercise. Do this exercise using the bottom two holds on a campus board with your body weight evenly distributed on both feet. Begin by gripping the higher of the two hand holds with both hands. Now let go with one hand and hold the arm by your side. Begin the motion with an inward pull with the engaged hand and at the dead point or moment of quasi weightlessness let go and drop down to catch the lower hold with a partially bent arm and an engaged rotator cuff and scapula absorb the downward energy and immediately recoil upward to catch back onto the starting hand hold continue with a brisk up and down lunging for 6 to 12 total hand movements total duration of exercise is 10 seconds or less after a brief rest, perform an identical set of one arm lunging with the other arm. Then take another rest and do two more sets with each hand. As the name applies, campus laddering involves hand over hand ascent up the campus board without any aid from the feet. To train grip strength, you want to use medium to small size rungs with no skips. Here's how to do it correctly. Begin hanging from the bottom rung of the campus board with slightly bent arms and engaged shoulders. Your hands should be about shoulder width apart or slightly less. Striving for a brisk, fluid motion, climb hand over hand up the campus board using alternating rungs for your left and right hands. Your goal is to ascend the board as fast as possible and upon reaching the top, jump off, assuming there's a padded floor below. Most campus boards have eight to 12 rungs so you want to make 8 to 12 hand movements as fast as possible. Think of this as a sprint. Once you get to the top, jump off and rest 3 minutes before doing another set on the campus board. Begin with 3 sets, but over months and years you can build up to doing 8 or 10 sets in a workout, but that's an advanced session. Switch hands is my favorite campus training exercise. It escalates to moving both hands simultaneously, albeit just a small distance, which makes it feel semi-controlled and not too risky in terms of injury. 
Learn to do the switch hands campus training using positive medium to large size rungs and an open hand grip. Begin with your hands on successive rungs, either the first and the second or the second and the third, and then tighten down your scapula and bend your arms slightly to gain a good starting position before lifting your feet off the floor. Begin the exercise with a short but sharp pull, only a few inches, to create upward momentum and then at the dead point, quickly switch hands to the opposite rungs. You'll latch back onto the rungs as your center of mass begins to descend, so you'll need to momentarily absorb this energy with your pulling muscles before initiating the next upward pull and hand switch. Continue switching your hands as fast as possible for up to 12 total hand switches. There's a bit of timing involved in doing this correctly, but if you're strong enough to rightfully employ this exercise, you'll quickly groove the timing and be able to do 6 to 12 hand switches in only a few seconds. This is a bang bang exercise, if done correctly, and it involves very little upward or downward movement of the torso. Begin by doing just two sets of switch hands per workout, but build up to doing six sets over several months to a year or two. And of course, as with all campus training exercises, be sure to get sufficient rest between each set. Each effort should be high speed and maximum quality. In closing, I wanna emphasize that campus training should be just a small part of your overall training for climbing program. Here are a few tips to help you get it right. Campus train only if you are a solid intermediate to elite climber with no recent history of finger, arm, or shoulder injury. Warm up thoroughly before campusing, spending at least 30 minutes performing various warm up activities and climbing of increasing difficulty. Use only the open hand or open crimp grips while campus training. Never engage a rung with a straight arm and or shrugged shoulder. This is very stressful and potentially injurious. Emphasize quality over quantity. It's better to do a few perfectly executed explosive sets rather than many reckless sets with poor technique. Limit your campus training to twice per week and engage in regular rotator cuff and scapular stabilizer training to make your shoulders more bulletproof. This will be a subject of an upcoming video that you do not want to miss. Well, that does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. To learn more about training or to contact me directly, visit my website, trainingforclimbing.com.